Pacific Angel 2009 wasn't only about healing the sick, pulling teeth, then supplying glasses. For a few engineering airmen from the 254th Red Horse Squadron, it was long hot days of construction and education for the local handymen of the small refugee village of Obello. This is unlike anything I've ever seen uh, in the United States, so um, they're, they're real happy that we're here helping them. Uh, they know why we're here already, so it, it, uh, the community, as you can see, is uh, getting involved in this project, and it's, it's, it's real good. We're working hand in hand, no problems. Bag after bag after bag of cement was tossed into a mixer to make concrete for the foundation. Mortar was also mixed for retention walls. We're helping the local community uh, repair a bridge that's been uh, damaged by uh, floods. We've uh, incorporated a U.S. standard type uh, construction along with uh, uh, the local uh, building skills uh, for the reconstruction of this bridge pretty much. Working in the same spot for the entire exercise made the crews easy to spot every day so crowds would tend to form. But that gave the airmen ample opportunity to do arguably the most important thing the engineers did while there, teaching the villagers better methods of building. I think it, it brings the community together. Uh, we noticed when we first started, um, uh, everybody was standing back just watching, you know, and uh, I'm just watching how uh, we do our construction versus their construction. It's, it's a lot different. Uh, we use a lot of different materials and a lot of different techniques uh, uh, for, for vertical building. And they're just standing back, but uh, within you know a day or two, they're, they're starting to get into it and, and understand. And as we as we go along, we explain uh, the reason why we do it and we build it this way. Marine Sergeant Will Skelton, Kupang, Indonesia.